the feet upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Teach me, Lord, teach me, Lord, to wait. Hola! Como esta? What's happening, everybody? Are you waiting for the Lord to do something in your life? I don't know about you, but I am. I'm always waiting for the Lord. Not doing a thing without him. And all the heart's desires he's given me, he gave them to me. All the heart's desires that I have, he gave them to me. And I will just wait for him to do his thing or tell me when to do whatever it is I need to do. And then I will do it. Amen. Amen. Yes. All right. Today behind me, I have a picture of locusts from Thailand. Aren't they beautiful? Locusts are, are in water. They look at that. They're just beautiful. I had one time taken, gotten a, a really good close up of one of these flowers. But I thought today I would just, I looked up, you know, flowers from Thailand and this popped up. I thought, oh, how refreshing. My water. This is my water. I love my water. And all these flowers are just there. That's where they bloom and grow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The lotus, the locust flowers are generally, generally, hello, I can speak today. They're, they're, symbol, they're symbolic of a spiritual transcendence, a purity, and a faith. Yes, these flowers, when people look at them, this is what they symbolize. Praise the Lord. I love that purity and faith and spiritual transcendence. Ah, just saying that. I'm there. All right, let's go ahead and get started with Joel and Victoria. Today's word with Joel and Victoria. I will be reading from Psalm 1 1 from NLT. Oh, the joys of those who do not follow the advice of the wicked or stand with sinners or join in with mockers. The devotional's title is Chickens, Turkeys, and Crows. The only thing that's holding some people back is their spending, who they're spending time with. You can't be passive when it comes to people polluting your life and poisoning your atmosphere. Life is too short for you to spend with negative, can't do it, jealous, jealousy, critical small-minded people who are not moving forward. You're an eagle, and you need some eagles in your life. You need some people who soar, people who are doing great things, people who have a great attitude. But here's the key. You can't soar with the eagles if you're hanging around chickens. People who have their head down, focused on what they can't do, you can't reach new levels hanging out with turkeys. People who compromise, take the easy way out, and are mediocre, you won't see your greatness hanging around crows. People who complain, find fault, see the worst. The less time you spend with some people the better off you're going to be. You need to associate with other eagles, with people who inspire you to, to rise higher, not with people who drag you down. Oh, I amen, amen, and amen that. Wow. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you so much for the joy that always follows when we separate ourselves from anything that interferes with your, with our relationship with you. Show us, Father. Show us if there's anything that's, not, that's holding us back. Remove anything that's in our life that is not pleasing to you and that's causing us being in the chicken coops or with the crows or the turkeys. Because we don't want to be with them, Lord. We want to be with you we want to be with eagles that soar high 
Father, we thank you that you will bring into our lives to inspire us to be our very best. So, Father, show us the way if we're not already there. Show us who those people are, those eagles that have wings and that are soaring high so that we can grow and learn with them and soar with them. Thank you, Father. We glorify you. We honor you. And we will soar to the highest heights that you have for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. All right, my dear brothers and sisters, until tomorrow. Adios.